All right, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, yeah. oh my god, the echo. Oh. Jesus Christ, I forgot to mute the site. Nice. <laughs> oh, I thought my echo. Was Why do like... I? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh. All right, let's get uh, you know, things right. Pardon me. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard you drop a freaking bottle and it echoed. Are we live actually? Right now? We are. Yeah. We are. We are. Oh, okay. Well, why, why don't we jump. introduce ourselves? Do we need to? Yeah. Do we really need to? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I am the venerable Titan BP. He is your host Brandon. right now. No, he's not your host. Brandon. And I am not your host, but your host is the guy whose icon is white, and that is Explo Sheep. Yeah. Racist. <laughs> Oh my god, we're not starting off like this. We're not starting out with that. <laughs> okay, end the stream, start over, let's go. <laughs> rewind, get the elevator music. Get oh, it's home. rewind time, baby. Oh, oh that's uh, hot. That's rewind. That's yeah. hot. Switch, switch rewind, let's go. <laughs> no, that'd be actually like... A uh, ninja leaves the platform, a Linity doesn't get banned. A person says you don't have five dollars to spend. Uh, shows, a person shows a literal gooch on stream and does and gets a three day ban. Mm -hmm. For a biggest oh my God. Twitch ban spot champ. Wait next on the queue we wait, have. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ryan, say hi. Hi. Other Ryan, say hi. Hello. Tony, say hi. Hello. Brandon, say hello. What's poppin', y'all? Close enough, and I'm Eric. <laughs> the only you one that followed that hours. was Ryan. <laughs> He's already picked up the uh, dialect. Yeah. God damn. Uh, Alright, <laughs> so, um... Let's see, what are we gonna be talking about today? I guess we'll go around, I'll ask you about your week, and then we'll go into some random stuff. As we always do. And we'll be talking about our future streams this weekend and possibly this week, we'll see. Uh, Alright, so let's get started with Tony. Tony. Hi. What'd you do I'm this here. week? <clears throat> well, I didn't really do entirely too much, so I'm going to keep it short. Um, I finally, 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 finally got to sleep in my own room. After weeks, well, two weeks of sleeping down in the basement because... Of all the construction construction that's been going on in my room, we redid the sink. The, yeah, we yeah. we redid uh, we redid the bathroom, and we ended up uh, getting new carpet for two rooms. I thought so. you were gonna say you got new carpet for the bathroom, and I was about to question my entire existence. I was gonna, I would have questioned my entire <laughs> existence as well. Don't worry. Um, I'm, I'm like, why would you ever bathroom carpet? Or you could get carpet for the kitchen. I've heard that's the way to go. No, no. no. Imagine uh, cooking with oil and just spilling into oh, the carpet. It would be horrendous. Stop it! Or stop right there. You have violated the law, sir. Or if you're making like an avocado salad or something, and you're mashing and it all just goes into the carpet. What kind of Dude, lover, are you? Avocado yeah. salad nowadays. It's all about that avocado toast. Or guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever, whenever I uh, Guacamole. mole. When, whenever I say any uh Mexican, I think of the stupid scene that I saw on YouTube, or or the stupid mm -hmm. comment or whatever it was, and it's like, hey, how do you say taco in Spanish? Oh yes, taco. Taco. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. How do you say burrito? In Spanish, burrito. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. And later, the guy goes out on a date with someone, and he's like, "I would like to order a glass of water, or as they call in Spanish, water." Okay. <laughs> oh god! It's so oh dumb. My god. It's so dumb. I, I swear god. we've. I think we've mentioned this before on the podcast at least Maybe. once. Maybe. Yeah, probably at least once, but we've I, lo I love it. We've never mentioned it before. No, we I'm, have. I'm pretty sure we have. I'm Keep in mind, we've done 32 episodes of this so far. <laughs> yeah, we're on episode 32. For whatever my dumb ass, talk, though, I was halfway to the near. I've always near. had this weird quandary about myself. Quandary? For like, weird quandary that I've always asked myself. Like, oh my God. Man, why man's the out hell here. is... 
existential time? Yeah, existential oh. time. Yeah, it's like you haven't even got your Tony speech yet. I mean, just like, <laughs> why is Taco Bell still a thing? Why listen, not? okay, listen. Oh, yeah. When you exercise and like for like two hours, three hours straight, and you're hungry as hell, Taco Bell is a really good place to go because yeah, okay. you, you just show up and they're like, ah. You want to eat like five meals at once? Pay us yeah. five dollars. <laughs> like, yeah, that's like... It. or if you're Eric, so you go to Chipotle with me and Brandon, you get the carta toss. God, yeah. okay. That's the thing. I'm like, why <laughs> is Chipotle? Why is <laughs> Taco Bell a carnitas. thing? No, it's actually pronounced Chipotle, and it's pronounced uh, carn- <laughs> uh, carnitas. Chipotle. 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 <laughs> Chipotle. Like, it's like the vine, the vines with the guy that just says everything in completely phonetic ways. Yeah, or or like, hey Tony, Tony, yeah. Cento. Stop. I'm Cento. Ch- uh, yeah, I don't uh, understand either. Cento, uh, Italian. Oh. Yeah, Cento. Who's playing the guitar? That's me. Ryan. Yeah. It's honestly it sounds like an annoyance than when my friends will sometimes randomly play ukulele. Ukulele? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get it. No, actually, I'm no, gonna... no, no. But here's the thing: when someone gets their ukulele, it's always the same chord progression, and it's always yeah, the seriously. same rhythm. Yeah, it, it's always yeah. it's the like, don't stop believing. No, 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 no. What? No. It always turns into montage music. I'm pretty it's sure like, it's too. It's like he's too boomer for it. Da, 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 whatever it is, you know what I it's, mean. It's the no, rhythm it, is always the same, and it's annoying as hell. Literally, the easiest chords to learn. Yeah, pretty much. But I haven't taken the time to even learn the chords at, before ukulele, and I kind of refuse to do it because if I start playing the ukulele, it's gonna remind me of like every pharmacy or every like giant commercial and make me want to rip my freaking hair out. <laughs> it's like the, I saw a post and it was like in my classroom we follow two uh, ways of thinking that we want to avoid I know what I'm doing but I don't know why the result happened or I don't know what I'm doing but I do know why the result happened and in my classroom we combine those to get I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know why it happened <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought this was going to be serious for a second and you just pulled that out <laughs> Like, they're like, we want to avoid this this thought process. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. To be fair, I think that's what the post was trying to get you to think as well. Hey, by the way, I'm I'm pretty much done my week. The the other stuff I've done was just kind of play guitar, uh, play games, and chill out really. Uh, oh, and you ranked, which wasn't actually that big of a cesspit that as as I thought it would be. Yeah, no, no, no. Because I'm bringing you on at the correct times. There are certain times of the day where League of Legends ranked goes from being, like, normal human beings to the cesspool the cesspool of hell and demons have spawned from Tartarus just to flame you in Int. Like, they, 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 like, I, I like swear. It was kind of like that Mordecai's the last game. Yeah, no, no, no. But that's because we were edging on, on one of those times. Oh, um, so we were edging. Yeah. You did I see. not use the right word there. <laughs> and he, and he, why? And he's telling me, he's tell, he's telling me to watch my humor, huh? This why did you have to... Re- edging can be used in other ways. Oh, yeah, it can be. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tony, shut the frick up. Yeah, I didn't curse. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you get a brownie point. <laughs> you get a brownie point. <laughs> oh, he cursed! He's telling me, give me a brownie I thought point. You were just gonna tell him you got a brownie. <laughs> okay, there's a difference between saying hell and dropping an hell. Hell is not a curse. It's in the Bible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Man. Hell is seen. Hell is used. Tell me. <laughs> I, I was always told it was a curse. I used it like it's not. Same, like, same like, it. same like, uh, damn is not a curse. It's in yeah. the Bible. <laughs> Like Eric, them's fighting words for some people. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, like, you don't say, I went to the Hoover darn. I mean, come on. <laughs> no, damn it. Damn, it's barely. Come damn on, is no, not I a mean, curse. It's in the Bible. I dropped an F bomb. Oh. You're so laggy, we couldn't tell. <laughs> That's true. 
Alright, so oh, who goes the fuck anyway? I just oh my said. god, Brandon. <laughs> We're talking about Ryan 2's. Yeah. I was actually gonna transition. Right. Uh, so, Brandon posted some stuff in podcast material that I wanted to. I guess we're not talking about Ryan 2's. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, you want to shoot? No, 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 my bad, my bad. My bad. No, it's so, fine. I, no, I didn't realize. <laughs> you can go if you'd like. I guess we're talking about Brandon's week. I'm laughing so hard right now. Give me a second. No, no, no we're talking about Ryan 2's week. We're actually, talking about Ryan 2's week. I actually we're didn't play. 15 minutes in? We're like 10 minutes in. I'm we're dying on the inside. It's just, it's just like the old days where we'd start off hysterically and then just crash and burn. Isn't that always? It's, it's right. like my ranked career. Yo. <laughs> You're right. It's like me just playing League in general. But, but you you're never not burning. Oh. Shh. <laughs> like as soon as you open the client, you crash, and the entire fair, time you're on fire. That's not really his fault. That's kind of the client's they don't fault. Don't need yeah. to know that. His internet's on fire right now. Yeah, they do. By the way, Ryan has this and issue. Up, you don't play league. Ryan has this issue where where five people will be lined up low health, and he plays this character. Who has this very big area of effect ultimate? That which kills gets things, bigger. If which you gets play bigger. A misfortune it. clinic for you yeah. guys the other day. And 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 we yell at him ult, and then he'll ult the opposite In direction oh, of the entire wow. enemy team. I'd, either either <laughs> that or it's gonna be like well, we say ult and then it's like delay. Yeah. And then he fires. And then, or or Tony, or Tony said ult the wave this one time, and he's like, okay. He turns towards the nearest minion, ults it, while there are four low health enemies in the wave. Oh yeah, keep doing that. That'll get you real far. So I mean, at least it's not as bad as um us playing StarCraft with uh Jack. Oh my God. I saw that that was happening. I didn't. I, know I what swear, to we're, we're like okay. this stream has become us Ryan, roasting each joined. other. Oh, hey, I... so Jack, Jack, if you're in chat right now, you have every right to defend yourself. And if you ever see this pod, you have every right to defend yourself. But it's pretty hard to defend that you did what Zerg takes one minute and thirty seconds to do in thirty <laughs> in thirty minutes. Oh, yep. Jesus. That is it, it is quite Jesus tough. Christ. I, I don't, I don't like, play Star, Starcraft. I've played it like a couple times before. You should play but, it with us. You'll have fun. Man, by the time mean, it makes him, the, Wait, by the time it, it takes him to one make one additional base, I was already at max supply, <laughs> full army. <laughs> and army give you an idea. Like Fifty fucking void rooms. I'm the Zerg player. Like literally glasses placed to the ground. I'm the Zerg player, and I'm supposed to be getting there faster than 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 Brandon is, and 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 Jack was playing Zerg. I'm like, oh awesome. my god! Remember when, remember, when was, uh, means... remember when it was a uh, PVP of you, uh, Jack and Dan? Yeah. And Jack had like four. And Brandon kept sitting on top of his base. And Brandon kept telling Dan where I was and what I was doing. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Brandon, I guess we'll do Brandon's week because this is the transition Tony wanted. <laughs> yeah, this was the transition Tony wanted. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Brandon, sorry. how was your week? It was the transition he wanted, but not the transition we needed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll I guess we'll do Ryan 2's last because he probably has some more serious stuff to talk about. Right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. So, Brandon. Well, this um, week was pretty fantastic, I guess. Nice. I was nice. meeting with a lot of my guidance counselors from school and shit nice. about, you know, stuff that I want to do with my life. You know, whether or not my major is like the best for me and all that kind of shit. So kind of serious yeah. life stuff. You know, cringing hard at Jack's um, <laughs> playing of uh, StarCraft 2. Apparently. You know, playing... Um, I was actually also practicing some StarCraft 2 um, against uh, AI. Nice. Have um, you looked up any build was... orders? I looked up build orders, yeah. What, what is your favorite build order build for order. Protoss? Um, right now, it's Skytoss, but I do want to um, 
move away from that. There's this one. Good. Okay. There's this one build order. It includes Sky Toss, and I think you'll like it. Um, mm -hmm. It's Oracle Harass early game, and it it's really good against Zerg. Like, really okay. good. Because, by the way, sorry, uh, listeners, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, they're not, they're not going to know what we're on about. So, so yeah, basically, Zerg relies on heavy mining. We have these little tiny dudes called drones that mine for us. And so Oracles, Oracles are a unit that creates stasis fields that prevent mining. So, why? Uh, because stasis fields for Protoss. Because, why not? I mean, I, my strategy too is like, a lot of the times my strategy is to build as much, as big as army as humanly possible, then it like, at a certain time, just strike with everything so, I got. So timing attack. So that's not, timing attack, so yeah. that's not, and that's not really the best option. No, and because I, cases, I could probably just, if someone gets there faster than you, then you're dead, right? So, yeah. that's why you want to go for like, continued aggression or constant aggression. So maybe don't mm -hmm. strike with everything you have and leave your bases open for Eric to flood you? Well, I mean, I also have, like... <laughs> no, multiple, keep doing like... that. It's fun. To... It I reminds me of like, that multiple. one time that Ryan started to move his entire army towards me, and all you, all of a sudden you hear... And fucking oh, a worm was, comes out. It was perfectly timed. <laughs> the like, timing was impeccable. Ryan's halfway across the map. Worm spawns in his base. He's like, what's that thing? My entire army comes out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just like fun phase like, oh, it's Eric. No, I'm just doing Bye. his usual bullshit. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I've been practicing a little bit with that. Um, How's it going? It, it's been going pretty well. Uh, I was practicing. I did the versus function. Yeah. What um, AI are you on? Because it, AI, it levels I, you I up. Just complete, I com just completed the very easy AI, and now I'm on the easy AI. Nice. I just... Um, I, I have this habit when I'm doing the AIs where I, I switch races a lot, or, or they're called factions now. I switch factions a lot. Um... Mm -hmm. And if I'm not playing Zerg, I can't compete with the other AI. So whenever I go on a Zerg binge, I immediately get up to the hardest AI, or it's called Harder AI, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think the next one is Hardest and then Brutal. Uh, mm -hmm. But I immediately get up to there, and then I'm like, I'm going to practice Terran. And it's like, I don't know how to play Terran. <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny to watch you struggle. Yeah, but here's the thing, Ryan. <laughs> I still play Terran than, better than I you. I don't care. <laughs> My favorite yeah. thing about that was the and way Ryan said that is the exact me. same way the challenger player would say that to, like, a bronze player. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and you still play Protoss probably better than me. Well, I just know that the best Protoss army for lower ranks is to go Immortal, Archon, and Zealot. Yeah. Okay. Like, that, that's just... I kinda wanna... Even that takes a lot of time, though. I, mean, I kind of want to implement some, like, I mean, high, high Templar and Dark not, Templar. It, it, does, there. it doesn't take a lot of time if you do, um, if you do static defense, right? So... Mm -hmm. uh, I got you, Silver today. Yeah. Yeah, he did get silver. He plays silver. Nice. <laughs> nice. Anyway. So we've got so... Tony on the team now? Uh, we yep. do. Nice. There you guys go. Yeah, and then everyone everyone on my end is ready for Clash. I am bronze right now. Feels bad, but I'm climbing bad. I, so I, anyway, climb, I um... climbed out of iron really easily. So I've decided that same. Rel is my favorite support in all of League of Legends. So, so about my it... week. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Brandon, you know how I feel on every, every podcast. <laughs> so about your week, you went somewhere. Where'd you go? Uh, good old New York City. Why'd you decide to do that during a pandemic? Successful, successful for COVID along with my, Florida. It wasn't my idea. It was Thailand's idea. 
you well, you way. didn't have to agree. Well, here's the thing: Thailand, New York City is not as bad as it used to be. Like during the height of the pandemic stage, when everything was they were shut down and all that kind of shit. Um, basically, I already told the podcast I did get the first dose of the COVID, the Pfizer vaccines. Oh, so. that's right, you were already vaccinated, so I wasn't yeah. really worried. What about, uh, Thailand what about was also Thailand? prepared. Thailand was also prepared with like masks, extra masks, hand sanitizer. He told all me he used the shit out of it. Yeah, you no, know, he like used it after like when he after he was like exiting every short shop after like eating every meal, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, good man. Which only had one meal, but you know, basically the only thing that wasn't really kind of open in New York City was indoor dining, and that Which was kind good. of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um. And they were, it was not very like as crowded as it used to be, like, you know, yeah. pre pandemic ways, like when yeah. you're like people, you're literally like touching people, like as you're walking, like, then what? I've been oh, in uh... once, and my experience with it was like bumper to bumper, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. I, yeah. I've been to New York once it... as well, and my experience was watching my middle school friend Chris throw his phone into a bunch of ducks in, in a giant puddle. Because he wanted to wait, prove that, was, that it, wait, seriously? <laughs> because he wanted to prove that his phone was indestructible, and then his mom watched him do this and yelled at him when he couldn't find his phone in the puddle. Nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> I think he eventually found it, but so yeah. The thing about this trip was this actually like one of the better trips I've ever done for New York City because there wasn't there. Because, you know, there are whole travel restrictions and all of that, there wasn't really any tourists yeah. out and about around. Because, you're, you're, you know, they weren't, they, they weren't really allowing many people to sort of travel freely in and out of um, New York City unless you're in the um, uh, tri-state or, like, around the area, like, you know, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. A tri-state area? <laughs> yeah, tri-state area. New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. That's what, that's what, that's what they call it. Officially. So you couldn't Doctor Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Yeah. Nice steak area. Yeah, and then also areas like states like Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, all of, it just it, it states around. But that's not tri-state anymore. Uh, well, yeah. It's like Quincy. Well, tri-state. It, it, well, like yeah, it's, basically they're not allowing anyone to go fly in from like California and nilly willy and. Wait. So can you, you visit know, from Vermont then? I'm not sure if that's on the list, but probably. <laughs> so anyway, one of the first things we did after we went to Bryant Park and had lunch, yeah, um, was um, we went on top, went to the top of the rock, which is a top of the uh, Rockefeller Building. Oh yeah! Oh, you went to the top have... of the rocks? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. That that's I'm, awesome I'm... view, and the best thing part about this is that we were the only two people on the top of the building. That's insane. That's so romantic. That... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so here's the Jeez. thing, Eric. When when I went to New York, and then uh, York... podcast material, I did post the view of it. If you want to take a look. All right. While they're po- I guess while they're pulling oh. it up. Oh. Uh, when I look when I went chat. there, chat. Look at when that. I, went... I thought I interrupted. Yeah, it's crazy. When I went there with Thailand last time, uh, this this was pre-COVID, by the way. Um, it was it was packed. It was like absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. But it is. Oh, but we COVID. we specifically uh, that... av- avoided tall places because I'm afraid of heights. Uh, can you go back to that building where it looks like it's from like Transformers? What? This one? Uh, the uh, the one b- above it. That thing was from that that b- building was um, I think it was near like near like the Hudson Yards, and um. It's a really interesting building right there. There's a whole other observation deck, kind of like in this weird, like nice area. They do have like guided tours up there, but we weren't able to do it because, like, I think three days before, three days ago, some guy actually jumped off of it. Oh, is... uh, 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 I don't think so. I they, to know. So they closed. I, I didn't want to know that. So, well, so they closed those tours. Well, I mean, it's not like you're about to go there, so yeah, yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah. I, st- I, I still didn't want to know that. At least I'm open on right now. Yeah. Ooh, because that. Ooh, that triggers depression. Yeah. Mm. 
I try to stay. There's a reason why I don't watch the news. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And it was and and Thailand does like all the time. Yeah. So basically, the point of that total okay. trip was to sort of like just kind of see how like what how much the city was, and we kind of it was really enjoyable because again the lack of tourists, you know, there's a lot of breathing room. You know. Yeah, like it was. Thailand showed me how to <laughs> maneuver in yeah. New York City. It you're you have to be a freight train, dude. Like you have yeah, to be yeah. really, really assertive. Yep. Because I also got stopped by one of those scammers again. Oh yeah. Oh, this time stopped. it was a guy. Yeah. This time it was a um, a, a Chinese dude. Ah. Who was who was giving around these like, like little beads and like, tarot yeah. cards? I think. Oh, oh for, like, was it was it one of the prosperity? Monks? Was it one one of the monks? It was one of the monks, and they were. Uh, it was like wore like a robe outfit, but it was like a yeah. monk. And it's like, it would you like to give a would like give a twenty dollar donation to the Buddhist it's, it's, temple? Yeah, no, yeah. That, those are fake. Yeah, yeah, that my yeah. that happened to my dad once when we uh, went to Canada, like two, no, uh, summer twenty nineteen. We went to uh, Niagara Falls. Jesus Christ, came. And... What? Um, no, <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't say that in chat. Racist as hell. Such fog, much much dense. Yeah, it was a pretty foggy kind of thing. It was like I think it was just kind of an overcast day that was going on when we got there. Even in Newtown. So, uh, oh shit, we weren't supposed to be our hometown. One. Uh... So how how did you play it off when you when you keep trying to scan? Um, I was just like, yeah, let's. I, that's kind of what I wish I did. I was like, yeah, here you go. All right, have a nice day. You Let's did go. it? Yeah, what? Oh. Uh, yeah, no. I, 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 I fell for it a little bit. All right. So I got I got hit by a scammer in um in Philly. And I was with Casey, and Casey was freaking out. Right? Um, he, was t he came up to us. He's like, I am from South Africa. <laughs> the oh taxi, the taxi cab just... It was a really bad accent, but it was like, I'm from South Africa. The taxi cab just took all my money and, um, and, and I need your help. I need to find the Jesus center. The Jesus center? The Jesus center. Right? The Jesus center. So, so I lead him, I lead him down this alley. I'm like, all right, so down here's a church. Um, there's also a hotel up here and then someone intersects us and he's like, Hey man. I, I need to know if you're real. You gotta show us ID, right? And and I'm <laughs> and I'm like and I'm I look at him and I look at Casey and Casey's freaking out. He's like, no, 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 don't, don't. He's like freaking out and I'm and I'm I look at the dude. I'm like, I'm 16. And he's like, oh, we'll see you later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I know where the Jesus yeah. Center is. See you later. The Jesus Center? The Jesus Center. This guy looking for a Jesus Center. Yes, here in um, most places in America and even in the UK, we call that a church. Also, I was leading him towards a police station. <laughs> Damn! Sneak, sneak, sneak one hundred. It was quite a far as away, but if he followed me all the way, we would have gotten. We would have gotten to a police station. Also, Ryan, when Eric said, "Um, I'm 16," that would have been a perfect time to do the "you right." Uh, no, it wouldn't have. Popcorn. He's eating popcorn. He's listening to our stories. He didn't want to be on the podcast to be talking. He just wanted to be a first-hand experience. You right. To be oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, Brandon, let's continue your story about New York. So you fell for a scam. <laughs> you saw some nice views. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, yeah. it was foggy. I think I yeah. think. Went to Times Square, as a, of course. Yeah. Things are relatively okay there, you know. Empty, I'm sure. 
Yeah, very pretty empty. Um, I don't know it was, it's like it, it, when I say empty, think of it like, like you know. I just had the most um, stupid new, realization. Think of it like Langhorn on a busy day. Okay. Yeah. Like pre-COVID, Langhorn on a busy day. That's 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 what. Yeah. That's kind of the busyness that it was. So. I just had a stupid realization. Mm-hmm. I thought it was. You? I. I just realized Times Square is called Times Square because Time Magazine is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was. And a bunch of, the, <laughs> and a bunch of the news stations are there. That's so dumb. <laughs> I just thought it was called Times Square. I never related the two. I'm dumb. It goes Times Square because, like, you know, the news stations, the Times are there. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, uh, did you so, have any, um, any, uh, anything from a Jewish deli while you were there? Uh, no. But it looks like it's taken straight out the of the In fact, the only food we ever actually had, besides, like, chocolate bars that we had in New York. That guitar sounds nice. That guitar uh, the sounds like food a banjo actually... is trying to yell, kill me. Um, oh my. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if that sounds nice, but... The only food we have in a, had in um, um, New York City is a Chick Fil A. <laughs> nice, Damn, yeah, yeah, that, that was it. That's the culinary experience I go to New York for. Yeah, yeah. that and what, that was really like the only, nah. one of the only. That's really, really the only thing that, that was like available. Yeah, because like go everything else is either closed or like indoor dining, but or out. You go sorry, to San Francisco for pizza. Outdoor though, dining, so. but all the seats were taken. So Chicago yeah, pizza. Deep I dish. go to Los Angeles for Domino's. <laughs> I mean, Los Angeles Domino's might be the best fucking pizza in the world. I think. Know. No, I go. I you know where? That. I go to Fr <laughs> San Francisco <laughs> for Domino's. What? No. No. <laughs> leave, leave that in last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is San Francisco? Have you never watched Big Hero 6? It's the combination of San Francisco and Tokyo. My headcanon yeah, is that Japan won the war. There's an lore to it. Yeah. Really the... know about. <laughs> Japan won World War II. That's so interesting. So, no, uh, that's not the actual lore, but that's my headcanon. Yeah. So, it went, so it Thailand, went. Thailand went to a clothing store. And so did I. If I followed him in there, like, it, and I got myself a nice flannel. That's cool. And then we went to what like a Yankees. You buy in New York, they buy a flannel. Yes. What else do you buy in New York? Uh, a hat. That's fair. Tickets to Ellis Island. <laughs> I got a Yankees hat from like the MLB store. It's nice. Ew. I lost my other one. Boo Yankees. Roots for the pinstripes. Boo yeah. fucking Phillies, dude. The Phillies suck. Anyways. Phillies are so, good on um, Phillies are good Christmas? only on years that end with eight. Yeah, no, that's not <laughs> even true. 1998 and 2008. Not 2018 though. They were all right. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw some shade. The... No, I said they were good. I didn't say they won the playoffs every time. That's fair. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some shade. So... Screw the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. No, I beat the Patriots when it counted most. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine with yeah. that. Yeah, I'm also fine with that. I'm actually, I had, I had respect for them yeah. until Doug Peterson literally threw the game purposefully, <sighs> so the Giants couldn't get the division title. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. fuck you, Eagles. Sorry, that is the only. It, I'm like a Go PG Ravens. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a PG thirteen movie right now. That Where is my one. That, that, that is my Whoops. one F word for the stream. You Done. Said, did you? You said the F word like five times. Did yeah. I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice try, though. Nice, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> no, I was nice like trying. Chris, I swear, John. Like a sin counter. Should we do it? Yeah. Do should we do a no cursing stream where every single time we curse, we have to give a certain amount to charity? Yes. I don't know. How many of the people in this uh, Discord right now would be broke by the end of it, though? I'm pretty sure Tony would not have enough for for his art degree. Tony would. Jokes on you, because oh. I'm not because I'm not paying. 
Oh. My parents oh. are gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> Wow. Okay. By the way, I'm I'm very fortunate. I'm just gonna say that right now. I I love my parents. If you're watching this, a lot of us are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, there, there's too much dead air happening here because when Brandon tells a story about going to New York, he decides to go to a clothing store. Yeah. I and there, I, I mean, like <laughs> I can clear this whole thing up with the NFL theme. But I'd get so copyrighted. I... Yeah, so well, then I went to Times Square that. and we did all the cool shit in there. Nice. I'm a rapper. Well, it's up. All right. Um, so since you mentioned the word shit, I'm gonna bring this up. God damn it. Oh yes. Okay. I know what you're about. Do you know where the word shit came from? No. When shipping manure as fertilizer to the colonies, you would have to ship it above deck. Right, because if you shipped it below deck, the methane gas would would build up, and your ship would explode if you lit a lantern. So they were titled. They would have a, a um, an acronym on this on the side of the container called, which meant ship high in transit. Oh my god! That's where shit comes from. Where did you mm -hmm. find this out? There's a new web. There's a new series on Netflix called "The History of Cursing." Oh, I gotta watch it. Guess who the co uh Guess who the host is? Tony. Nicholas no. Cage. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Oh my bro, <laughs> that's great. How does, yeah. Wait, well, how does that even make sense? I feel like he doesn't even curse that much. Um. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it here. I'm just getting my week there. Okay. All right, played some StarCraft. Went to New York City, bought a flannel, and had some Chick Fil A. Went to Chick Fil A, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I did some other things. We went, you went to you went, Times you, Square. We did all, yeah, yeah. All that but kind you, of stuff you went, uh, you got a vinyl as well. What vinyl did you get? Who's his co-star? Go I didn't amazing. get a vinyl. You did get a vinyl, um, a tool vinyl. Well, not in New York, not in New York City. No, um, not in New York, but you did get a vinyl. I did get a vinyl disc. It <clears> was um. It was uh, Tool's latest album called uh, Fear Inoculum. From oh, that's the latest album. How is it? Oh, from... oh, nice. Uh, I heard... I, I didn't actually play the vinyl yet, but I have listened to that album numerous times, and it's... I think it's, like, one of their top, like... I think it's, like, number three in their uh, sort of lineup. I can't wait for him to just, like, open it and up. For me, it's like, you know... gash across <laughs> That'd be so sad. That would That'd be. be so That's... sad. It's yeah. like they're like it cool's like top three for me. Top like albums ranked, I guess, if you want to go there. Yeah. Um Anima's number one. Lateralis is two. Ten thousand days is three. And Knock Fear Not Gum's number four. Um the Undertow top... is five. The top three went to five. Top three and <laughs> No, no. I'm I'm ranking I'm ranking all of them. <laughs> no, no, we're not ranking. No, Brandon, you said it was top. Three, there's only like six. Four. <laughs> there's only six. Yeah, but you yeah, said but top you said three. Was, yeah, he's, you said hold on, guys, dude. Who cares? He's at five. Let him go to six. <laughs> and six is opiate. There. <laughs> it's like we were talking about edging earlier. You guys were literally doing the same thing, but to Brandon. Oh my God. You wouldn't let him finish. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> okay, that, Tony. So, how was your week? So, okay, we I was I was gonna talk about something. All right, so I have this album, or I have this record rather, and it remind uh, what reminded me of is imagine him opening up with a giant gash across it. So I got this brand new record, the Now Now by the Gorillas. I put it on the record, or I put it on the record player, and I, I, put, I drop the needle, I'm playing it, and then I hear, Argh! Oh no. <laughs> My needle that. skipped and scratched the entire <laughs> record. I was oh, so mad. Oh. Is that the one you got when we went to the record store? Yes. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's not I the one. A, that's not the one. No, 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 no. There was, there was a, that, that's the one that I got uh, senior year. And I was playing it while you, while at band practice, and you went, "I hate the gorillas." And then 
it skipped. <laughs> oh my god. What, uh, oh what my time? God. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's something similar that happened to me. So Eric I went to Newtown Record Store and I bought and I found out and I was like fine looking at records, just like seeing what the hell they had. And they had Rush's first album in there. Oh, and now nice. this is a really rare find to have. So I buy it, have a nice day, take it um, I take it out of the sleeve, and all of a sudden, boom, face down on the floor. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh did it crack? Um, it didn't crack. Okay, good. But it, I think it was it got dirty. And so I picked it up. I used all the clean stuff that I had on it, and Wait. the first song just skipped. You don't, you, you don't use cleaning stuff on vinyl. <laughs> you just no, no, dust no, no. it I had off. Just, like, I had this like cleaning, deep cleaning solutions that I got for like vinyl. Oh, okay. So it, okay. It's for vinyl. Fine. It's for vinyl. It's like, it's like this velvet brush with like record cleaning solution on it. You let the record spin yeah, as you I know what you're drag it across. About, but you don't put it on the record. You put it on the needle. Oh. No, you put it on the record. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, it's you do. It's meant to be put on the record. I have a kit over there I can check. Yeah. Are we gonna check this to solve this argument, or are we just gonna drop the argument? I don't care. Drop the argument like, like you dropped the record. All right. Oh, fucking hell, man. Drop the argument like you dropped the beat. Shut up. <laughs> with, with, the, with a thunderous crack. Ew. I'll, I'll drop the argument like I was dropped in the head as a child. Anyway. Oh my <laughs> god. At least, he's so, the one at least he's the one who said it. Yikes. Transition. <laughs> Transition. Transition. But um, Ryan. Hi. How was your week? I gotta piss real quick. I'll be right back. Nice. Okay, sure. <laughs> Say that and right before I'm back to start. Um, my week wow. was a little. My week was kind of tough. Yeah. What was that? Um, okay. Quick question. Did you do your accommodations yet? Huh? Your accommodations. For college. Put a little more ADHD stuff. Oh no, not yet. You know there's a deadline on those, right? I did not know that. You might want to get those done. Anyway, yeah, continue. So I've had kind of a tough week. Because I've obviously been doing a lot of streaming this week, but Already, I'm feeling a little burnt out because I told you. I, I told you. I literally, I, I saw your schedule, and I'm like, you're gonna get burnt Tony, out. Can you mute him? No. Okay. Um. I don't want to. <laughs> then you're afraid he's gonna kick you. No, I can just run back. Yeah, you can. I mean, I mean, from the server. <laughs> no, I can't kick him from the server. He's the owner. No, kick me. <laughs> kick you from the server. Tony. <laughs> No, no, okay, you... what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> Tony, Tony thought that Brandon or that Ryan just said he could kick Eric from the server. <laughs> Wait, Dude, you... the other way around, you dumbass. No, but to make that clear, before I say something, it was blatantly obvious. It Dude, was. You know it was blatantly you, obvious. You know I don't do blatantly obvious. Okay. It was as blatantly <laughs> obvious as a missing ping from top lane. Like, yeah. Like... <laughs> It's kind of, that's oh, kind of surprising because yeah. top lane shouldn't have map awareness. Uh, that's why it's blatantly obvious when they pay. <laughs> anyway. Whatever. Um, so you're burnt out already, huh? Well, yeah. Okay. I've been trying to think of things to do. I actually removed a day from my schedule. Um, I removed Wendy's. 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 Wednesdays. Wendy's. He removed Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy's no longer exists. No wonder the Twitter's <laughs> been so quiet. <laughs> dude, he canceled Wendy's. How can you cancel Wendy's, dude? I'm not even on Twitter. You should get a Twitter. No, I have a Twitter. I just don't use it. You should start using dude, it. I dated the Wendy's no. chick once. But did she, did Anything she on R34 on doesn't count, Brandon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did she call? Did she call you out on Twitter like she calls out most people who eat at McDonald's? 
Brandon, oh my. just because you had sex no. with a Baconator does not mean... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my <laughs> fucking Christ. So, so, so that was mayo in my burger then. Oh, oh no. God. That was the worst thing you could have said. This is the worst timeline. <laughs> Wait, do you know why um, Wendy's burgers are square? Oh no. Why? Because they don't cut corners. That's a legitimate reason. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. mean, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I should that's, know that. that's, yeah. <laughs> you worked at Wendy's. That's... Tony was trying to be smart and come up with like some sort of like sarcastic comeback. Yeah. He's like, no, I can't. No, I wasn't trying to. Wait, did you <laughs> Did you see the thing uh Wendy's posted when when uh, McDonald's added them and said never uh ne always fresh, never frozen? How do you ship it then if you can't freeze it? And they said, Did you forget your refrigerator exists? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I, I, I basically worked for them be mainly because, first off, the, the job is like five, like not even five minutes away from me. And also, god damn, I wanted to be on the team that is the witty, the witty as hell motherfuckers. I, I swear, mean, man. Nice. Sorry. So the, about that PG-13 rating. Yes, right. <laughs> I, I realized right after, but they're witty. I'm witty. All right, so you're burnt out, Ryan, and you deleted Wendy's from existence. <laughs> so how did this help you with you being burned out? I feel great, man. I'm getting, I'm, I'm on that uh, McDonald's now. Oh, no. McDonald's burgers are so bad. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I, I agree. Right. Like, okay, to give you, okay, their burgers are the so funny bad. Part is I had. The funny part is I had to stop at a went at a McDonald's during my New York trip for some water because we were dehydrated. Their burgers are so bad that they're so, so you got Dasani. No, 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 we got Coke. Oh, which doesn't he hydrate to stop you. For water. Oh, <laughs> fuck. He's like, hey, yeah, I had to stop for water. I got a Coke. <laughs> so anyways, back to Ryan. Stop for hydration. Didn't get hydrated. I was, I was gonna yeah. say. McDonald's best burger is a burger that has a bun in between the patties because their baddies, patties are so thin you can't tell. Baddies. They're baddies. They're, what they're, the they're hell, baddies. Eric? Eric's on fire today. Hashtag baddies. I'm doing no. great, dude. I think it's that it's I think it's the ranked stuff we did today. It's, my it's, brain it's, is gone. It's drained us. They took they took away my poppy in my last game and I got not mad. not. not not only did they take away your poppy or your in your jungle, they also took away our mental. Well, no, not even like no, that. More, they, they took more away our brain. More did that for me. Yeah. Anyway, Ryan. They can take away our poppy, but you... they cannot take away our freedom. Brandon, stop. So, so Ryan. Oh God. So what's, Ryan. Ironic is, right. what's ironic is poppy actually disallows you to move. So it's quite the opposite. They took away your poppy, but you still can't fucking move. Sorry, you freaking move. So Ryan, you already did it. You already. Not really give the fuck yeah, anymore, anyway. Oh my god. Eric, go ahead. Brandon. So Ryan, Eric, go ahead. So Ryan got burned yeah. out. You're working on being burned out, and your solution was deleting Wendy's from a. Take four. Yes. How how did you manage to do? I just talked to God. <laughs> Smite when he's done. So, so you talk to God. So God exists. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Then who'd you talk to? You dyslexic? Do you believe it in may, dog? It, it may have just been that. <laughs> Are you dyslexic? Do you believe in dog? <laughs> nah, it's the acid, I tell you. Oh my God, Brandon, stop. For the love of God. I mean, dog. Um, anyway, so I deleted Wednesdays from my streams. There you go. All right. So what? What was? What was the reasoning behind this? This? This action? Well, my Wednesday streams are boring as all hell. Until I join them. Until yeah. Wow. I don't know how to. No, he's not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> he he has told this to me directly. I have. I have 
I have yet to figure out how to engage with my audience when I'm not doing those things. Um, like, if I'm you just talk about random, random stuff. stuff. Use yeah, your that's use that's your cool ADHD to your benefit, basically. Yeah, that's what that's what I was doing earlier on my stream. Um, yeah. Problem is, I, you you don't make that me. stuff that you talk about pretty interesting. <laughs> no, I don't. Because I, I think that has to do with my tone of voice. I think it also ha yeah. I was about to say your tone of voice is very monotone because you're shy as all hell. So it's, and then it's you're just also like sarcastic. It's like, hey guys, uh, this really cool today and yeah it, um i got this guitar it has six strings Whoa. and like you state a lot of obvious things and you're very monotone yeah and then you're also um, very sarcastic which is which ad which adds another layer yeah of confusion it's like, like it's like like, <laughs> like he i think ryan is actually part of the reason why i'm so bad with context because i never know what this guy <laughs> Yeah, but the Usually Tony and something with a face palm, you know. No, <laughs> I can't see you face palm. No, but Tony, I... here, here's the problem: you apply the logic of Ryan to everyone, making bad with you context Ryan. about everyone. <laughs> like, I even oh see God. it in ranked games. You'll be like, you'll be like, okay. First off, I can't say the term because I can't say the the League of Legends term, but you. You, uh... You got Tony. What is it? How, how do I Did, say... How do I say this? I'm, I'm guaranteeing it. How do I yeah. say this with the, me the term? He I'm hovers. Playing. He hovers, I guess. He hovers, uh, or, or he hesitates, walking back and forth uh, before I'm engaging. Yeah. Back and forth before engaging, and then when the fight is over, and we traded evenly, he says, oh, I guess I should have been there. When the entire enemy, the entire team is paying for assistance, he's like, I didn't get the sign. Like, yeah. the attention, I have the attention span of a goldfish. I guarantee it. No, you have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> and the attention and, span of a goldfish. And my parents are like, you, you have the brains. My parents are like, you have the best memory we've ever seen. I'm like, dude, you have no freaking clue how bad my memory hey, has gotten hey, in the Tony, past three years. Tony, what did you eat for, for breakfast today? I had a bagel with butter, and I had 10 pizza rolls. Okay, what'd you eat for lunch? I had nothing for lunch. What did you what'd eat you for your snack for? at 3 o'clock? I didn't have a snack. What did you have for dinner? I had pizza. You pizza. literally just consist off of pizza, don't you? I'm Italian, yes. No, 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 no. no. Pizza is a snack. <laughs> no, Eric. boy! I, I, I had pizza for lunch. Was pizza is a snack. No! It, is, it is an appetizer before the main course. <laughs> Barely. Not when you're having. Not yeah. when you're making two. Not when you're making two homemade pies and have like seven pieces in the night. No, 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 no. Uh, an Ital have. I'm assuming you've had like an actual like family Italian dinner. Yes. You know how much food you have at an Italian dinner. Way too much. Like way too much. Like, like you don't. It's absolutely you, ridiculous. You don't, you don't, like, the problem there's, is, people talk. too much talk. for leftovers. People talk, right? And they talk while they're eating, not, like, while they're chewing, but they'll talk while they're eating, and they're boisterous as all, all hell. And, and you'll, they'll just be shoving their face while they're talking. They're like, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened. <laughs> And yeah, it's like, yeah, like, like it's like it's like I can never get I can never get a word in like either here with my friends or especially at the dinner table, ever. In my that's, entire that's, existence. No, that's why you have to talk over each other. This is yeah. this is but this is my, this is really good training for that. Yeah, Tony, Tony, it's the one thing you're good at. If somebody yells at you, you yeah, yell louder. louder. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, by the way. I got so mad. That is not anyway, anyway, so many times. Ryan. For us. How? It, so yeah. you asked God. You deleted Wendy's. You, you burned out. So you got rid of Wednesdays. Um, not Tuesday. <laughs> not Tuesdays. You're still streaming on Tuesdays. And where can they find you, Ryan? No, I don't stream on. No, I don't stream on Tuesday. Oh, you don't. Saying, on Mondays, you stream on Mondays. I didn't get rid of Tuesday because you know Carolyn Tuesday. That was a dumb joke. 
Um, that was really yeah. bad. So where can they find you on Monday? Uh, Leftover Boomer 2001. How do you spell that? Mm-hmm. Here, okay. let me just uh, type it in chat. Uh, I, actually, I'm not sure. Do we have a command for this? We don't. I should probably start just making my back command. Just click on that no. name right there. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I can actually try something. No one can see that. Spelled, spelled it wrong. All right, it's L F T O V R B O O M E R. Are you seriously doing it like zero, that? Zero, zero, one. Yeah. That's. Shut up, Tony. I don't want to hear about it. I, <laughs> I can't. It's bad brand. That. It's bad brand awareness. I know. I don't like. I'm gonna change it back. I think I have a better name, but I'm gonna change it back to what it was originally. All right, so so he's solving bad brand awareness with worse brand awareness. Yes. <laughs> Shut it off. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Just remove the 2001. Yeah, and be just over yeah, boomer. Yeah, That's just it. remove the 2001. That's Man, all you need. Brand. Okay. All right. He has something serious to talk about. Is it about burnout? No, it's okay. actually about my dad. Oh. Um, so I had to get up at 6.30 this morning to drive him to the hospital because oh. he had swelling in his legs oh. because, and he thought it was like blood clotting and fortunately it's none of that. Okay. No, fortunately enough, it is not that at all. He yeah. is perfectly healthy, but the reason it was happening is because of a side effect from COVID. And I didn't mention this before, but he had flu-like symptoms right before the new year and right before Christmas. And his girlfriend and her daughter were both exposed and tested positive. So, yeah. you know. So, yeah, that was probably mm-hmm. the... Did it? Isn't the reason because problem. the daughter snuck out and went to a party? No. No, the son snuck oh. out one to the party. He oh. still tested Bro. negative, though, somehow. So what, you got a step bro? They're not married yet. This my, virus my, is uh, weird, my, man. My dad and his girlfriend are not married yet. And stop trying to hit on her daughter, Brandon. <laughs> Every time oh you're near her. Every time you're wait, near wait, her. Wait, wait, wait. What's up? <laughs> uh, wait, who is it? Remember, remember at the party when um, uh, Brandon said to the one girl sitting with her boyfriend that if she wanted to come up and sing, she could. Oh, that's right. Brandon has a thing with girls with boyfriends. I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. He neither confirmed or denied it. Personally, I think the more people, the better. But you know, that's just me. He he went up and asked. Uh, he he, he asked a bunch of girls to prom. He asked a bunch of girls to prom once upon a time, and every girl he asked had a boyfriend. That feels. That, that's that's yeah. It, it was it was rough. Also, he deafened himself. I think he's mad. Brandon, welcome back. He didn't deafen himself. Yeah, he deafened himself. I deafen, I did it for myself. Oh. Was it on accident or is it because you were mad? Both, it but... was on purpose. Ah. No, you're fine. You're good. Hey, dude, honestly, like, I hate being, like, interested in someone and then finding out they have a boyfriend and be like, oh. It sucks, yeah. It, yeah. But not to get depressed or anything, let's move on from that. Well, I mean, it's hard not to get depressed when Ryan just mentions my dad's in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. I, he's, dude, not, he's, he's out. I, oh, okay. I okay, that's good. Earlier today. Dude, he's uh, totally fine. I th- what's funny is I think we started this podcast. What what day did we start this podcast? Like was it in early June? Yeah. Yeah. June or okay, July? Early mid June. Because if it was in mid June, my dad was just like in the hospital. He he actually almost died this year, um, due to pancreatitis. Damn. Um. Yeah. And oh, dude, it was it was really bad. I remember His mother- this year or last year. Well, last year. Last year. Yeah. Last June, um, his his mother died on May the fourth. Um, Damn. be with you it, because yeah. she is now one with the force. The force, no, the force was not with her that day. That's for sure. Um, and no, but and saying she is one with yeah, the force. She she, she is now. We, but... That's what 
She That's what those Jedi say when someone passes away. By the way, Brandon, Brandon is a Jedi. Brandon, Brandon is, a beca- Jedi. Is, is is he's training to be a Jedi master. This is actually not a joke. We'll get on that later. But um, can you do backflips yet? No. <laughs> like five feet in the air. It's it's a belief system, not an actual like. Warrior so client, you're joining you know. a cult. It's a belief system. <laughs> so you're joining a cult. You know, at least he's not. <laughs> if you, you want to put it like that, fine. You you're joining a Star Wars cult, Brandon. Hey, hey, at least it's not the Church of Scientology. Oh, Screw you, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Wait, uh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, Dad almost died uh, this year. Uh, you know, if you have any Scientology cool. viewers in chat, say hi. <laughs> I doubt we do. Yeah, that happened. But I, I basically what I'm saying is I feel your pain, Brian. It's really, yeah. it's really scary. And but the, the, the my dad is a diabetic. Oh, oh God. So he's high risk. Ooh. Just like yours. Yeah. Well, my dad wasn't used to be not high risk, but he he did smoke for like ages. I don't know how he's not gotten any problems from that yet. Sounds like my my grandfather. My grandfather. Yeah passed away my first semester of college. Oh, oh I remember and that. Right. This man smoked and drank entire life. So did my grandfather. But, I mean I mean he quit drinking. He quit drinking. And he was trying to quit um he was trying to quit smoking. And I'm pretty sure he did at the end. Um and he ate he always ate bad. E- even when the doctors told him no more potato chips, he was like, no, that's not happening. Right? He, <laughs> no, he, I mean, he, he ate whatever he wanted. And he, uh, cancer didn't get him. Nothing got him. And then, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a common cold got him or something. It's something, like, right. super common. Like, I thought, wait, I thought it was like the flu or something. No, it no. It was like I don't think it was a blood clot. It might have been. I think. I he, just remember you telling me while we were just hanging out after yeah. class that he was really sick and then he passed away. Yeah. Dang. He had to go to the hospital first. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but it, like it was something super common, and I'm like, wow, he really did just like live through like the hardest stuff possible, and then. Yeah. You know. I mean, hey, he also didn't give a crap about like his health, and he still lived. Like, yeah. no, that's just good genetics, right there. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> gene dip. How, gene dip. And that's the story of how Eric quit Tanners. <laughs> yeah, I did. I quit Tanners because of it. I was like, um, I'm not coming in because uh, my grandfather is currently in the hospital, and I don't know if we're gonna be driving up to or not. And they're like, okay. And then I didn't come in for like the next. And I told them I won't be in for like the next month. few weeks. And then... Then he calls him like... Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm quitting. Sad. Wait, who, yeah. who picked up the phone when you... Who did you tell, by the way? Like, who was, who was the boss? I thought it was like Jess or something. Or Barb. I think it was Barb. God. <laughs> she oh, was Barb. like... Or no, 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 no. Yeah, it was Barb. It was Barb. I think. Hey, I also want to point out that we haven't gotten to it other, Ryan. Yeah, we will. Ryan. Hello. You there? How, how, was, how was your week? Running running uh... from the mob and such. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, so basically, the I mean, my week was, was pretty good. I got to go back to uh, my... Going in on Thursdays and Fridays for my engineering class, which is really, really nice because it's so hard to do online. Um, and then next week is finals week for me because my school is on semesters instead of trimesters. Oh. And so we're going to be doing finals week next week. And then aside from that, um, not too much happened, but then, uh, obviously, uh, a lot of the state capitals have been rumored to maybe be getting hit this weekend. 
and I live in Lansing, and my father is not unimportant in the local government, so yeah. it could be a problem if they can't get into the capital. But yeah. we're hoping we're hoping that it's not. My college has given us warnings because of the stuff that's gonna be happening pretty soon. What college did you go to? Son- uh, VCU. VCU. So it's like okay. it's an hour away from DC. Okay. I thought it was Virginia Tech at one point, and I'm like, no, that's not right. No. I'm not that nerdy. You are pretty yeah, nerdy. Yeah, wow. There, there wasn't much else to my week. Um, I guess <laughs> I'm getting ready for Clash as well. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Gu- I guess we could start talking about Clash. Uh, should we take yeah. a break? Clash of Clans? We could, we could take a break if we wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we could take a quick break. Just Stop talking me. about your cock, Brandon. Jeez. What? I'm talking about Clash of Clans, bro, of course. Obviously. COC. That was very bad. That is not... That, <laughs> that, that was... Alright, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be taking a, a 30 second ad break here. Alright. I'm still chilling. I'm still yeah, chilling. Okay, we're we're yeah, gonna talk... Good. Hey, hey, YouTube frogs, how's it going? Stop. <laughs> Hey, YouTubers, yeah, I... what's going on, poppin' yeah. boys? Welcome to, welcome to the 60-second ad break. But no, 30 seconds. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, if you're watching this on, you, yeah. if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. Rant, if, like. if you're watching this on YouTube, type uh, donut in the comments so that other people have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but if it's cool, on I'll YouTube, then they'll all know unless they skip to the ad break. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get Dude, nothing but day. donut in your comment Dude. section. Exactly. <laughs> Who wouldn't want donuts? By the way, it's over. <laughs> oh hi guys. Okay. Hi, welcome back. So um, next next week we need to just do the ad break where we just sit in silence. No. Damn. Okay, hear me <laughs> out. So we do the ad break, but we're reenacting other ads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The problem with that, Ryan, is. Is I get condom ads on this channel. Yeah, most of them are Trojan ads. Oh no! Trojan. Okay. okay, so I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I find it ironic that Trojan, the condom brand, is made after the Trojan horse, which is the thing that was let inside and spilled out everything inside of it to destroy the city. Yes. <laughs> like That's so good. Maybe I should train Fran Trojan. Oh, man. Trojan. Tony, you don't Tony use those. Doctor. Stop lying. No, I, I, I don't. You're right. So that's why they're Tony condoms are effective. Condoms. For something made for penetrating. They, they, they thought more about the penetration and not the not the actual <laughs> not what actually happened. They were thinking about the walls of Troy and not the Trojan horse. <laughs> and honestly, they did not think enough. <laughs> Is your girl big? Is she thick? That's not your girl. Those are the walls of Troy. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Wait, this remind. Oh my god. The wall You're reminded me of that one movie. game we played against Natalia. And Talia ulted me and Tony bot lane. <laughs> and, and as she was ulting into us, I just said, hey, hop in my mouth. And we hey. dig under and leave. For. For, for anybody who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about... He was uh, playing a this, champion this, called Tom Kench, who has this, the ability this, to voyage himself in an ally. Voyage basically means... Okay. Dig under ally. dig under the world in a tunnel and bring them anywhere I want yeah, to. Yeah, it's a tunnel thing. But when he said, put me in his mouth, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my character jumped Literal vor. his entire body... Jumped into his mouth, and we tunneled under the Talia ultimate, which was a wall, wall. that basically erects. And <laughs> no, I'm I wasn't saying that. <laughs> Chat, Chat's uh, like none. Yeah, the wall erects, and then Talia hops off, and <laughs> dude, she, shot. She oh, she and then she like came going on she, in the bot lane. she came Man, to bot lane and was so have. disappointed. So so then I typed so then I typed in chat. I 
I type in chat, right? Secret tunnel. No, I type in chat. I say, <laughs> I say, walls don't really work when you can dig underneath them. Secret and then tunnel. Tony types, secret tunnel. Oh, <laughs> and then someone responded, secret tunnel. And then someone else responded, through the mountains. <laughs> they typed the entire song. <laughs> I was cracking God, up. So... Wait, do you have that clip? I can't no, stop because laughing. we didn't stream it. No, I think, oh, I think, I think I, I can download. It. Hold on, I need to download the replay. One second. God, that would be so. We've played ten games in the past two days, Johnny. Uh, actually, the past twenty-four hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, My anyway, God. what were you we talking Man. about before Secret Tunnel? <laughs> Who no, was before, talking? before Walls of Troy. Oh yeah, the Walls of Troy. We, I don't think there were ever any rails that this conversation had. We just came back from the ad break and it was instantly off the rails. It was, yeah. in, it was instantly, it was one of us talking. Oh wait, hold on. I saved, I saved the replay. Nice. Yes. Oh my, yes. Okay, so, okay, I need to, okay, I'm going to do this really You have to post it me. Me vampire cat material. So I'm planning on making a video. Mm -hmm. um, Is that the end of the sentence? Yeah, or? No, no, no. I'm planning on making a video, and it's it's. I, I said this last week, but I still have to do some, uh, some of the editing and what have you. Oh, this is one um, fresh guy double kill on us. But I I want to make a. A StarCraft video that explains the bare bones and basics of everything so that oh, viewer, yeah. viewers who don't play StarCraft, and I'm going to do the same thing with League, um, so viewers who don't play StarCraft or don't play League understand what we're talking about and could possibly get into it themselves uh, because they're yeah. both free to play games, right? Yeah. So. Well, fun. So, speaking of League of Legends, uh, we have a tournament coming up called Clash, yes. and two, three of them. I was about to say two, three of the Your members. Math skills are a little rusty. Uh, you don't really learn math skills when you're a computer science major, and you tell the computer to yeah, do it all for you. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> um. So three of the members are here, uh, and I think it would be fun to talk about some some of the stuff we're gonna be doing. On the rift. On the rift. On the rift. Yeah. Um. All right, Jack, get ready for a snooze fest. <laughs> Shh. I'm kidding. Shh. Go to sleep, Ryan. I'm trying to find. <laughs> so I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. That sounded like less like. That sounded it less like a pig. No, yeah, that sounded less like snoring and. More someone shoving their fist down your throat, like. <laughs> sounds like, it sounds like, like we're at right now. <laughs> we are at the like the so, go on. so Tony. Yeah. What do you plan to bring to the to the clash team that you're on? Well, it would have been Ari, but she she's gonna get banned or picked every game, no doubt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably. No, no, no. no. It's never. It's never, man, it's never your man. It's never your main, rather. There, it's there is technically man. a chance that it goes through just because we have so many things yeah, that they want to eliminate. This Ari's has happened before. That's fair. I still find it funny that they went for a a five ban onto me as the jungler in one of our games last clash. That was. Man, they banned. That wasn't even that. That was the the second weekend of Worlds Clash where yeah. we went uh, four one both weeks. Yeah. We uh, both days so or three one whatever. What was really, it? They banned Poppy. They banned Vi. They banned Shyvana. They picked Evelyn. They picked Evelyn. So so they just banned all of Eric's mains. Oh, and yes. okay, and then and then I and then I pulled this one out. And then I pulled. I think they banned Nidalee. Oh, they banned Nidalee. And then I pull out. I present to you Ivern. <laughs> I found it, I found it, I found it. 
Oh no. <laughs> Ivern was funny, dude. Yeah. No one was expecting it. Just and press you support you supported me all the way to a win. <laughs> exactly. Well that was kind of yeah. rude. What? It's exactly what I expected. That was a that was a Wookiee. <laughs> So, Eric, what do you plan to bring to the Rift? Uh, we asked about Tony. Yeah, Tony didn't ever respond, and he's too busy following, trying to find Secret that video. Secret tunnel! Oh, my God. I found it. Um, so I plan to bring Shyvana if it's allowed. Uh, <laughs> um, I plan to bring Volley Bear because I don't play him a lot. If I don't want to go Nidalee, but I'm definitely going to try Ivern. Um, <laughs> because, I, because Ivern has that supportive style that I'm used to. So, and, and plus he's in a pretty good spot right now, so there's really no reason not to. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I don't think there's a lot else in the jungle that I can really bring, except for maybe some very off meta picks. I mean, I could always bring my mains if they're allowed, Poppy, Vi, whatever. No, but <laughs> I, could, I could try and learn Kench tomorrow in the jungle, but Kench isn't really viable in the jungle right now. Um... So yeah, I, I think I think my mains are gonna be the support support and, and tankier junglers as, as we usually see from me in right. a Clash tournament. How about you? So I've been keeping up with the meta, yeah. uh and currently that's looking like Jin and yeah. Samira are probably the two highest priority picks. Vayne mm -hmm. is technically doing better, but I think Samira is the better pick. I think I think one of the things we really need to work on as a team is our combo play. Because because our combo play, if we do it right, will just eliminate most teams. Yes. yes. Right. So especially if I'm playing like Diana or Yeah, yeah Diana Misfortune Diana. was a really good combo that we pulled out in the practice. Especially with Seraphine too. Also with yeah. Shy. Shy was kind of yeah. just there, but Shy still <laughs> did stuff. Right. <laughs> that doesn't really count though. L listen, Shy Shy raked them all together. You uh the 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 Diana ulted pulled them all into one spot and then and then MF ulted. So I think Shy had value in that fight, a little less than Diana, but she still did something. Yeah. Um also and then past like just the two highest priority picks and we've talked about the misfortune. Yeah. Uh there was there was like one or two others. But I'm not remembering them. Oh yeah, Zai is a pretty high priority pick. And Aphelios can work if you've got the right supports, but I don't think Oliver plays those supports, so we'll probably not go towards what, that one. What are those supports? Uh I believe those supports are um Watch like I've seen it do well with Thresh mostly. Yikes. I don't even play I don't play Thresh either. Yeah. I play Pike. I don't think Pike works as well because I think the Thresh W is really key to Aphelios doing well. Okay. Sounds. Um, Tony, what are you gonna bring to the Clash, Tony? Well, hopefully, if unbanned, Ari. Um. That's not gonna be unbanned. <laughs> yeah, I know. Otherwise, I'll be playing Kennen mid. Uh, if if the matchup allows it, I'll be playing AP not Nautilus mid. Yeah. With probably I can see not that. the best. Probably not the best thing you want to hear in a clash tournament, but AP Nautilus mid an off meta pick. It's nuts. It's it's not an off meta pick. It's a pocket pick. There's a difference. It, it's a pocket pick, but yeah. it's also very off meta. Most pocket picks, I guess, are off meta though. Yeah. Like I guess you could technically call my AD Shyvana a pocket pick then, but it's not. Yeah. I, Other than that, uh, I need to start going tank Shyvana again. I've been br I've been bringing Sunder way too often on Shy. It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't really work. Hard. It's a very it's a very uh specific item. It's like I should not be bringing it as much as I do. Yeah, I should be really trying to focus in on um what's that item? Uh, Sunfire. Yeah, Sunfire. So, Sunfire wind Sunfire cave. is great. Yeah. I guess other other than. Bring Ari, Kennen, and, or uh, Nautilus. I do have Diana. I have a, I have a couple of other ones like Lux. Um, I can play Silas, probably not very well, and uh, Vagar. Well, well, we're gonna be sharpening up your rusty champions over the over tomorrow, like earlier mm -hmm. tomorrow, and then yeah. Yeah. 
and to then be Sunday. fair, we to be fair, they're gonna look at the um, uh, they're gonna try to look at that. No, I I, have... I highly doubt they're gonna be looking because okay, so scouting period only shows what you played last clash and in your ranked games. Oh, so so un- they unless they the unless they op dot gg snipe us, which by the way. That's how that's that that's what we do against the enemy team. <laughs> yes, because it's the most effective way. Like having up to date information is better than having stuff from three to four weeks ago. Yeah. So, but I I don't doubt seeing my uh ninety percent win rate poppy get immediately. My seventy five percent win rate already in, immediately in banned. banned. Yeah. I could play. I could still play Echo. I don't know. I really. I have, I have a couple of things. I really want to play Sejuani because I want to have that AP option. But Sejuani's in such a bad spot right now. Yeah, I just. I wouldn't even do it. To be fair. Ooh, excuse me. Feel the on. I think unless I play Sejuani in, in such an area where I support Ryan constantly and I'm giving him my passive. There's Other really. There, there's really nothing. Well, but usually, because I don't think even when I'm playing Samira, I don't think she counts as a melee. But it has oh to be melee, God, right? Through my head. Does it? I believe yeah. Sejuani's passive only applies to melee. They've made She's some changes to it. Did you say did you just say Sejuani's primary primary? No, I was range? talking about uh, Samira. Oh okay. I was about to say. Yeah. Hold on. You know what let, she let's has this like up. the the melee attack, but it's not to be fair, so, uh, Sejuani... Sedge does have some range, just not basic attacks. Passive. Uh, I guess we go to LeagueOfLegends.com. League of Legends. Or, or we video could... game. No. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let, let's look at her passive. Fury of the North. Ads go away. Um, okay. Frost Armor. Sejuani receives Frost Armor if she hasn't... T- yeah, Frost Arbor engulfs Bristol and Troy. Sejuani gets slow immunity. In a... What? Details. It sure does, Eric. It sure does. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Um... Because it the passive the passive text doesn't say that it grants it to allies, but it does. You're on League of Legends dot com, right? No, I'm on League Fandom. Oh good. Alright, hold on, let's go to League of Legends dot com. Alright, Fury of the North. After being out of combat, Sajani Grants, what did Jason just send? Grants armor, metric, oh, wait, that was you, Brandon. Blows, frost armor <laughs> oh, persists no, for a me. short time, and Sejuani takes what damage. Sejuani can damage. It doesn't say it passes it to allies, but I know it does because I watch it happen every game I play here. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, decently sure getting, it's melee. Imagine getting five starred that hard. Oh my god. Oh god damn. Alright. <laughs> Regardless. Eric, Regardless. Eric, you, might, you might want to take a look at the boys real quick. I'm not going to right now. So let's let <laughs> let's wrap this up. Wrap this up. Um, really? Yeah, really? yeah. It's. I mean, we've been doing this for an hour and a half. Almost an hour and a half. Yeah. What do you mean early? It's only been an hour and twenty four minutes. I mean, it's a little early, man. Dude, we've been ending them at an hour. We we've been oh, ending okay. them at eleven thirty recently. Last- yeah, last week was like our longest episode in a while. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> go ahead, say your goodbyes. Uh, before we say our goodbyes, I wanted to just say to anyone that's looking to tune into the D and D podcast that I do over on my channel on Mondays, it will be a longer episode because we have time to do more D and D. So. But Ryan, look what's your channel? That. It's Shore Factor, twitch.tv slash Shore Factor. How do you spell that? And, uh, S-C-H-O-R-F-A-C-T-O-R. I had more trouble with the second half of that. <laughs> um, 
I don't know exactly when we'll be starting because we'll probably start early, but uh, there will definitely be a ping in here that uh, I've gone live. Ping in where? Start. Uh, a ping Eric, in the household of Hestia Discord. I don't know where you can find that in relation the to the link stream, but it's somewhere. The 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 code is on screen right now, and the link is down below in the about section. Yeah, that. So, all right. Say, I guess, say your goodbyes now. All right. Well. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's take it easy. Thanks for joining. Earlier, so. Yep. Thanks for joining joining this. Uh, cesspit of me giggling hysterically. Yeah. <laughs> and I was talking about random stuff. Uh, that's oh, that's, that's this podcast. The podcast. Yeah. This cesspool of memes. Cesspool of memes. You right. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, you it. right. All right. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you will always have a home right here at the hearth. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>